Fiesta chicken and rice today. This is another quick prep one. So I did about a pound and a pound and a half of chicken tenderloins. Just seasoning these how you'd like. I did chili powder, onion powder, and some garlic powder. And then I have two boxes of the Mexican style rice aroni. You're going to put this rice just over your chicken. And then with those seasoning packets, you're going to put that into three cups of low sodium chicken broth. Stir this up real well and then pour it over your chicken. I use an eight by eight dish. I find that it just cooks everything perfectly this way. And then I did about a cup of Fiesta blend cheese just right on top. And I baked this at 375 for about one hour and it comes out delicious. Today's dinner was so easy. So it was a sausage potato green bean bake. We did two smoked sausages all cut up, a bag of yellow potatoes cut up, one onion diced, <laughs> and then a family size can of green beans. You're going to drain those first. And then we did a half stick of butter melted and threw that on top. You're going to stir this up really well. Might be helpful if you use a little bit bigger of a pan, but it worked for us. Lena's test, taste testing some things here, and she got something that was spicy. I think she tried the seasoning. <laughs> she had to stop and get a little drink right here. So it's a Southwest Chipotle seasoning from Mrs. Dash. I love the seasoning. It's my new favorite. So we're going to season this all up, and then try and stir it as good as we could. We put the oven at 400. We covered it for the first half, and then uncovered it for the second I baked this for about an hour and 15 minutes and it turned out so good. Today I just kind of winged it with what I had. I did a crock pot ranch potatoes and sausage. I did about three pounds of potatoes all chopped up. Two smoked sausages with an onion chopped up. I sauteed mine but you don't have to if you don't want to. It just gives it a little more flavor. And then I did one stick of butter melted and then I added two to three packets of ranch. I like the big thing because I use it so often. <laughs> and then I found this chili onion crunch that just tastes so good. It gives it a nice spice. I stirred this all up and poured it over my potatoes and my sausage. And then I added about two cups of shredded cheese. Now you need to stir this up really well and drain when it's cooking. I kept stirring it too, maybe every hour or so. I cooked mine on low, or no, I cooked mine on high for about three to four hours. I say low, about six to seven, just to get those potatoes nice and tender. This turned out pretty tasty and we'll be making it again. Today I made a garlic butter chicken with potatoes and green beans in the oven. This only was a few ingredients and really easy and delicious. So first I did some potatoes chopped up. These are yellow potatoes and then some green beans. Threw those in the pan. I wanted to use one large pan, but I just didn't have a big enough one. I did one stick butter and then I added about a half cup of mayonnaise. Then I found this Italian herb with garlic and added about a tablespoon of this to that mixture. Then I stirred that up really well and then I split it in half. So half goes over the potatoes and then half goes over the chicken. Oh, and then smoked paprika to that as well. Sorry. You're going to preheat your oven to 400 as well. And I did about two pounds of chicken. I cut mine in half just because I need to kind of stretch it out pretty far. I seared mine with some seasoning too before I started just to add a little bit more flavor to that. And then I dumped that on. And then I covered mine and I baked them about 25 minutes covered. And then I took the foil off and baked it again another 10 minutes or so. I just seasoned my green beans with a little salt and pepper and added a touch of oil in there. And then I added this Italian style cheese. I did about a cup of that over the chicken and a little bit over the potatoes as well. I love this dinner because it looks like I spent a long time making dinner, but I really didn't. And it's got all the sides that I need and it was delicious.